Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. Hey, YouTube nothing. family, I am back with another video. And as you see by the title, it is a home update. If you didn't see my previous video, it was my empty house tour. I will leave that in the cards for you to view if you want to view that first before watching this one because this is going to be an update and you'll be able to see where the house was before i got to here so again welcome 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 and thank you for those who have subscribed thus far i appreciate you i appreciate you we on our way to 200 subscribers did i say subscribers <laughs> subscribers Come on now, get your words right, Adrian. Get your words right. Act like you know how to talk, girl. <laughs> but yes, we are on our way, and I appreciate all of you. So again, this is an update. As you can see a little bit in the background, we got some things going on over here. But um, I just want to kind of update you all. I did say in the last video, I would kind of tell you about the move and why it happened um first things first my lease was about to be up in the other house in february but i end up moving a month early due to some extreme um situations that occurred at the last house i had been in that house for 10 years and prior to i really hadn't had any issues until last year mid last year um, I was home. I was in the showers about 9 p.m. And the people across the lake behind my house were doing some target shooting. You know, they always did firecrackers and, you know, I hear them shooting every once in a while and, you know, nothing ever came about. But this time was really different because it sounded really, really close to my house to the point where it made me kind of jump in the shower and duck down because there's a window in my shower and few minutes later i hear glass shatter in my bedroom god is good because normally around that time i would have already been in my bed i would have already been chilling watching tv and this time god allowed me to be in my shower because it reality set in a bullet came through my bedroom window it ricocheted off of my mirror that was leaned up against my wall in my bedroom and i'll show you um that mirror um to let you see and it also ricocheted off of my dresser i had glass all all kind of glass on my bed over on both sides of my bed so I'm just grateful. I'm thankful that God allowed me to not be directly in my bed or in my bedroom, um, per se, during during that, that situation. Um, I reported it, filed a report and everything. And, you know, I still, at that time, told myself, look, you know, Okay, your lease is up in February. Let's make preparations to go ahead and try to move, okay? Well, New Year's Eve, it happened again. However, this time I was in my bathroom again. I wasn't in the shower. I was in the bathroom standing near my linen closet. And I heard something hit the house. And I felt in my spirit that this, again, is another bullet. When I tell you that that favor just is not fair, God is just, has always, has always kept me. He has always kept me and he kept me again. And I knew at that time, that was the last straw. You know, it's, it's December. I still have two months for my lease, but I reached out, excuse me, I reached out and I spoke with my leasing, um, my leasing agent and they agreed to allow me to get out of my lease early. 
I, again, the length of time that I had been in that house, no, they had no issues with me. And now my safety um, is a concern. They really almost didn't have an option other than to um, acknowledge my request. So that's why it was a fast pace, need to get up out of here, need to find another space. So with that being said, I began looking for a house. It was gotta go, gotta go, gotta find something. And the way God worked this situation out, um, in hindsight, I didn't know at the time, but he knew it. He always knows, right? So I was looking at so many houses. It, every A few times I was like, oh, I, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. And I get in the house and it's something, a few things that I'm like, no, <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> this is not it. So this house is in a whole nother state. Now, if you're familiar with the area, you know that Tennessee, Mississippi, okay? Um, I just wasn't considering leaving Tennessee and crossing that state line. So this house kept popping up, but I just never looked at it because I'm not looking at Mississippi. So, um had another option that I fell in love with, but for some reason, somebody else beat me to it. And I know now that it was for a reason, right? And something said, just, just go look at the house. Just go look at the house in Mississippi. And long story short, that's, that's the house I'm in right now. So, um, I'm, I'm again, as I stated in the last video, it's, it's a blessing to be able to have a roof over my head because everybody is not so fortunate. So I, I thank God daily. I thank God daily because it, it didn't have to be so. And I thank him for keeping me safe. I always pray for safety and coverage, you know, at night, during the day. And I know it was nobody, nobody but the grace of God that kept me during those two situations in that house. And he was, he was moving me, you know, I, it, it was, it was all in his timing. And this house was, was left here for, for me, you know? Um, and as far as the house as a, as an update, before I give you all an updated house tour, um, there were some things that were happening when I first moved in that I struggled with and it had me emotionally all over the place, um, to the point of regretting the move. <sighs> for those of you who know, <laughs> for those of you who know who had to listen to me and were, were there to comfort me during that time, um, you know, the struggles that I had, and I won't just really go into a lot of detail about it, but it was already an emotional move for me anyways, you know, leaving a home that my son and I were in. It's the home where my son transitioned in. A lot of people don't know that my baby boy transitioned at home. Um, leaving that house and having to put his bed on the street. That was the, one of the toughest things I had to um, deal with and going into his closets three years after his transition. I couldn't even face looking in his closets, but I had to. God gave me the strength. And I, I want to thank my mom already knows, but I just want to thank her publicly again for always showing up and showing out for me. You know, she don't, she doesn't have to travel here to help me through these situations, but she does it time and time again. So, um, my, I love you. I thank you, boo. You know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is, boo. So I thank you. I love you. But, um, yeah, that move was extremely emotional, but I got through it. 
I always do. And God was right there with me. And I thank you. I thank you. So, um, I see I've been talking. This intro is 10 minutes long. I know y'all waiting on girl. Get your butt up off the couch and show us this house. So I am going to honor that for y'all. So I got y'all. I'm not in this video going to tell you where I got everything. I just kind of, I might mention a few things, but I won't go into detail, detail. I'll do that in another video if that's what y'all want. So hit me up in them comments, hit me up in them comments and let me know if that's something you would like, but let's get to this updated house tour. All right, y'all, we are going to start where I started you all before at the front door. All right. So I love music. So I have my little musical note right here at the front door. And this is one of my more recent pieces. I'll come this way. This is a little shoe cabinet that I got from Ikea. I'll open it just so you can kind of get a visual. All right, so love that, love that. This piece right here, combination of home goods and at home. All right, let me turn this way. And this is my entryway. Here are some pictures of me and the kid. I'm sorry for the glare from the blinds. So I hope that you all can see that. Let me just try and let me see what happens. One second, y'all. All right, yeah, let's kind of just turn off that light. Maybe that's better. All right. And here's a console. Had it for a while. I don't really know about this basket situation here just it's there for now but here's my record player a few of my girls if i've mentioned my girls i am referring to my plants all of my plants are named after iconic black female singers there's only one plant in the home that is not named after a female and i have named that after jj um for now my albums are right there but that's going to change and this console color is going to change i am doing this this weekend and i'm going to paint it black all right and again um some pieces i'll say where i got them from but um most of them i will not in this video all right we'll come this way and let's head to what was one thing that I really wanted to do when moving to this house was have a bedroom for my mom because for years, my mom, she came. And of course, at that time, you know, Jalen had his bedroom and I only had a three bedroom home and had my office. So my mom would always just sleep on an air mattress because she would never want to let me not sleep in my bed. But <laughs> um this is my old bedroom set and this is now my mom's bedroom it's not complete um but for now it's it's fine all right so of course we have pictures of my guy in every space of this house again one of my girls over there but um yeah. So yeah, now we do have a mirror here, but I it's, it's not my vibe anymore. So I'm probably going to donate it or sell it and get a black round circle mirror for in here. But again, this is mom's space. And let's see this is let's turn the light on there this is just my vacuum closet and anything else that needs to be stored here but that's that let's head into i apologize for the lighting 
keeps changing. I probably should just keep lights on, y'all. I'm so sorry. This is the first bathroom. This is the guest bathroom. That's me. What's up? <laughs> um, for now, it's I mean it's simple and I love simple. Um, still need to get a towel right there. Of course, there's me and the kid again. Um need to add a towel or just something there, some situation there, but got our shower here. And we got our little situation in there. But I apologize if I am getting too close up on things. Y'all bear with me. Again, that's the guest bathroom. And into my office, where I spend a lot of time. <laughs> but, and that's a glare from that window there but this is baby boy again now this area is um my memorial area sometimes it's still hard to say things like that but this is his memorial area i did keep his crayon bank and this is something his aunt Cat and my nieces and nephew did for him. Another one of my girls, my bamboo. And again, my girls are everywhere. And the office set up, desk set up, I mean. Two setups here, but yeah, so that's the office. She believes she could, so she did. That's my guy again. Again, there's some more music. Yes, yes. All right. Now let's head off into the living room space. Um, this little piece right here, this is my laundry sign. I'm preparing to spray paint it black. So that's why you see that there. Um, this is a collage that was done for Jalen for his 21st birthday party. So have that there. A lot of memories of him and family and friends on there. So off into the living room. You step in, I'll pan this way first. One of my favorite parts of the living room. I'm gonna come and give you a better look over here. This is a piece that I painted myself. If I can figure out how to do it, y'all, I will pop up a picture of what this canvas used to look like. I am still playing around and self-teaching myself how to edit. So yeah, this 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 black piece I will mention I did get that from Target. The um the stand. And I mentioned this piece in my one of my previous videos this one right here home goods but i just absolutely love that area i did have to put my light over here because of how my couch is placed now i was not able to put it over the couch so it's fine we get creative and figure things out so here is that famous ikea mirror this is the silver one and this is the mirror that unfortunately was hit by that bullet. Um, did not want to get rid of this mirror for that. So I figured out a way to just kind of try my best to camouflage it with this vase here. Okay. Uh, we got our, our, um, y'all, I can't think. My media cabinet. <laughs> 
<laughs> media cabinet and 65 inch tv lg media cabinet here's my dining room table this was a diy project you will see a lot of diy projects around my house because i do love to diy i did paint this it used to be a wood brown color but um yeah one of my favorite things in the house this is a indoor fire pit and the couch surprisingly a lot of people not may not believe it but couches from big lots i've had it for a few years now love it extremely comfortable everybody who comes over tends to fall asleep <laughs> Another one of my girls, this is Nina Simone. That is Nina Simone, y'all. She is huge. I've had to move her a couple times around the house trying to just really see where I, you know, where she was comfortable. But, you know, that's my big girl, Diana Ross, right there right by the window. And, well, I can't leave out my girl, Dorothy Dandridge. <laughs> but I won't get into everybody's name again on this video. But as you can see, iconic females. There's the kid again. It's my baby. And we just got a few pieces up here. All right. And here's the dining room. I think at some point I really want to switch out my chairs to white chairs, but I love how this looks. My table is also a DIY project. This was white and gray. I got found it on Facebook Marketplace and I painted it black. I also painted the legs of the chairs black. They were brown. All right, here's the one plant that is named after Jay. And that was one of the peace lilies from his service. He's a little crooked. Yeah. Um, the pedestal that he is on is a Goodwill find. It was white, painted it black. Another one of my girls, this is Mahalia, Mahalia Jackson, Billy Holiday. Now, this kitchen, as I stated in the last video, I did have to sacrifice. I didn't have to, but I did sacrifice a lot of cabinetry and space from where I used to live. And if I have to say, that was probably the most frustrating thing for me, but I'm making it work. I'm making it work. I really had no other choice at the time. Well, I didn't have a choice. I had already made the decision. I had moved and you, you just have to figure things out sometimes. So I did. So one thing that I did figure out was let me get an extra like pantry cabinet storage thing going here. And that's what I did with this piece. Found it at Amazon. Absolutely love it. It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, I put that together. I am very handy with putting things together. Everything that you saw in my office, the bookshelf, the desk, every desk in there, I put all of that together. So I'm very resourceful with getting things done myself. All right, here's the kitchen. One of my, well, one of my favorite cups, my simple modern cup. And as you can see, I love to label. I love to label things. So, um, yeah, there's my baby boy again. Uh, let me show you all 
the pantry. Now this was something too because again, a lot less cabinetry. So I invested in this right here. This right here to go over the door. I love it. I love it. You know, you do what you have to do, right? And it's working. So there again, I love labeling. <laughs> I just love organization. And that's just me. Things have to be in order. In order. So my oils. Oh, one of my favorite, favorite purchases. My tea kettle. Oh my God, I love that thing. <laughs> I love that thing. Air fryer. All right, and always need hope. Hope and peace, y'all. Hope and peace. Yeah, so. Okay, oh, this is, let me, this is one of my most recent purchases. Wine, baby. Gotta keep the wine. Ah, good wine opener. Yes, yes, yes. So, oh, this rug. I love this runner. Where did I get this from? I want to say Tarjay. Think Tarjay, y'all. But yeah, that's the kitchen. That is the kitchen and the dining room space. So. All right, now let us head on this way. Oh, I'm about to walk right past it. Now let's, when I said I was lacking space, when I initially did the home tour, I introduced this closet as a coat closet, I believe. I'm pretty sure I did. Or maybe I just said, oh, another closet with some storage. Well, I did have to turn this into my second pantry. Why not? Sure did. Sure did. Because I'm one for making sure I'm stocked up on things, right? And I didn't want to have to sacrifice not being able to do that because of my space, right? So that's what we did. I DIY this. What color was this? This was like a, a rust color, y'all. Yeah, this was like a rust color. Uh, if you don't know by now, my colors, black, white, and gray. And of course, green, green greenery. All right, this is the laundry space. All right. We love laundry, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, this is the laundry space. As you can see, I'm preparing to wash. And now, off into Let's see how it works with the light, y'all. I don't know about that. Let's, I think we'll just roll with the natural light. I'm not really feeling that light. All right. Here's my bedroom. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a really, really nice size bedroom. This is a king size bed. I did purchase this bed from Wayfair. It was extremely heavy. <laughs> that bed was so heavy and it was a whole debacle they sent me to. And oh my goodness, I, I, I don't even want to, I don't even want to have to, talk about that story again but 
thank God it's over and we got our bed. So, um, these are nightstands that I put together. The, were these from, I, no, these were from White, Wait, y'all. Wayfair as well. Yep, yep, those were from Wayfair. Um, the lamps. The story behind the lamps. I saw this lamp at Home Goods, and I hated the price. So what I did was search for these lamps on Google and found them at Walmart. Sure did, for half the price, so... Always just search around, guys. Oh, before I leave from over here, it's one of my favorite gifts that was given to me after JJ passed. It's like a hologram heart that lights up. And I keep that on every single night. Every, But I have it lit up right now for you guys. So, yeah. All right. Here we are with that famous Ikea mirror again. But here's the black version. And hey, it's got its own space because it needs it. <laughs> so my most latest project. Y'all, if y'all only knew how long I was waiting for this darn thing to come back in stock. I almost gave up and settled for something else. But I'm so glad I did not. This is another Ikea piece. And if you don't know by now... I love Ikea. I love Ikea. I didn't really go into detail of everything that is Ikea in the house, and I'll probably just do a whole Ikea video one day. <laughs> oh, hello, Phyllis. Hi, man. What's up, girl? Yeah, boo. <laughs> so anyways, y'all, this is, oh my goodness. I just recently put this together, um, was it last weekend? And you have like the frosted drawers and that's basically my dresser um, because I will show you shortly um, my closet size is a nice size but you know I have a lot of stuff so and I didn't want to have a dresser in my bedroom so here's what I decided to do get a TV console and use it and it's one of my other girls And we got the TV. This is a 55 inch. Of course, we have to have the good smell goods. One of my favorite ones. Well, not one of, that is my favorite one from Bath and Body Works. Um, all I meant to show you, I'll go back and show you guys. Well, maybe in another video. I'll show you my candle closet, but yeah. This piece is from Home Goods. Most of my pieces are from Home Goods. <laughs> Baby, going to Home Goods today. Don't play. <laughs> Here's the other nightstand and my favorite picture of the kid. Oh my God, he is so freaking handsome. You can't tell me he ain't. And this is also one of the gifts he gave me one year for Mother's Day. And I love it. So, all right, let's go into the master bathroom. Here's a jacuzzi tub that I have yet to use. One of my girls in here. Well, two of my girls in here. Hey, girl. So, two of my girls in here. And this is the full overview of the bathroom. Baby, we need that scale. Y'all make sure y'all keeping track of that good weight. All right. So I will say that my bathroom is not complete, but it's complete, right? It, it's done for now. <laughs> it's done for now. Um, I will be doing a DIY project I meant to show it to you all. I've been just moving kind of fast, but um, I have some, it's kind of like tape or something. I don't know what it's called, but it's a border. 
that can go around and because these these mirrors here in this home as you can see well you can't see but it's got some defects that i want to cover up and it's going to make it look like a whole new mirror so we'll do that um yeah the toilet area now again like i said it's not 100 percent complete the house i still need to you know put some things on the wall like right here you know just to jazz it up a little bit but for right now we're good um here's my linen closet you know we gotta keep this stuff in order around here you feel me y'all this darn thing right here baby one of the best purchases i've ever made one of the best purchases i've ever made but yes all right y'all so here's the closet now this bench before we go in there this bench i found it at burlington an amazing amazing price of 49 dollars baby how lucky was it for me to find this bench 49 dollars and for it to match my bed cut it out cut it out favor ain't fair somebody in the comments mad right now i can't believe she found that to match it exactly <laughs> oh boo boo stop it give me uh, hey, hey, she did that comment. All right. <laughs> but no, nah, y'all, I was so happy to find it. Event I mean, originally, I wanted to put it in front of my bed, but it, it just didn't work out. Not enough space. All right, going into the closet. This is the green, white, gray, and black room. My room flows with how my house is. I don't wear color like that. Now, you see that color right there? That's that maize and blue. That's that Detroit Lions. Don't play with it. Yeah, you're going to see that. But other than that, I am a black, white, green, and some gray girly. Um, After Jalen transition. I did tear my entire closet apart, took out everything that had, you know, just a bunch of color. And I decided I was switching to black, white, and green. My jeans are there. I have to make do with what I have as far as space for my shoes. I'm not completely happy with how the closet is, honestly. I don't like how my purses are, you know, my totes are over here, you know, it's just, it's, it's cramped, but it is what it is for now, you know, got my, well, let me kind of come over here. I'm sorry, y'all, but here's my, my laundry basket, same basket that I have in the laundry room. This one's just bigger. But, you know, I can come in here and sit down. I'm sitting right now. See what I'm talking about? And, and chill out. What I'm, you know, and say, hmm, what are we wearing today? You know? <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. But, um, yeah. So, I mean... It is what it is right now. If I can get my creative juices going, then I will, um, you know, make it a little bit better. But right now, it's good. And for those who are new, the green is in memory of my kid. He had cerebral palsy and green is the color for CP. So I wear some type of green every single day whether it's a bracelet um whether it's uh, i must have taken my purse out but whether it's a green purse just something you know 
always every single day so again that's the closet that is the closet and then we're coming on out of here so i'll just swoop back through again again this is the bedroom and i'm so grateful i'm thankful god is so good god is so good and like i said we'll do another video when i let you guys know where i got everything from so y'all hope y'all enjoyed this video i'll be coming back with more updates as they occur again like i said the house is not 100 percent how come I like I can't talk? <laughs> the house is not 100% complete. There we go. Hey, 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 we went to school. <laughs> we went to school. Quit playing with us. But look, I'll give y'all some updates when they occur. Please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss. Much love to all y'all. I thank y'all for all the comments thus far in the previous videos and everything. Thank you for all your prayers and continue to keep me there because this weekend I'm celebrating the kid. We're coming up on his three year anniversary of his transition. So it's all about my baby boy this weekend. So keep me close to your heart. I love y'all and I'll see y'all next time. Peace and blessings. Just don't